Hey there, I'm Tamala and I hate Harvest Moon. Okay, not really, but there have been some pretty bad Harvest Moon games over the years. And since I did a best of list, I thought I might as well do a worst of list too. Now this list is just my opinion and my personal experiences, so yours might be a bit different. That being said, I am also including spin-offs on the list as long as they have the name Harvest Moon somewhere in the title. So, let's get started. Number 5 Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life Special Edition for the PlayStation 2 This one may be a bit of a weird choice considering that the original A Wonderful Life is probably one of my favorite Harvest Moon games. Actually, it made number 3. On the surface, it seems like this one should be better than the original in every way. Uh, there are a bunch of new things to do, more streamlined mechanics, better pacing, a lot better pacing actually, a new marriage candidate, and you can finally get rid of that stupid goat without killing it. So why is it on this list? Because quite frankly, it doesn't run very well. Obviously there are always issues when porting to a less powerful machine, but this one just isn't good. Like, at all. It's hard to tell from the footage, but when playing it, you can definitely tell that the frame rate is very erratic. There's always this half second delay whenever you do anything, and it always takes you off the experience. Like, if you push the button, it takes like half a second for anything to happen. That is, unless there aren't any, isn't anything on screen. In which case, the game runs at mock speed. It's kind of amusing, actually. The graphics themselves are pretty muddy, and there are some very strange graphical glitches. Especially when it comes to lighting. Like, the game doesn't really know how to handle sunsets. Yeah. And there are a lot of... There's a lot of popping in the game. Like, characters and objects, as you get closer, they'll just pop into existence. And pop out again. If you really have a choice, get the GameCube version. It may not have all the new features, but at least it runs properly. Number 4. Harvest Moon DS This one was just a disappointment for me. Harvest Moon DS came out after I had already played Friends of Mineral Town and A Wonderful Life, two of my favorite Harvest Moon games, and along comes DS, which looks like it combined both of them, and it was portable. Problem is, the game literally just took the engine from Friends of Mineral Town and stuck it in the setting of A Wonderful Life, and it kind of misses what made both of those games great. Also, the tone is just plain weird. The game it doesn't take itself very seriously, which is fine, but the writing itself feels very silly sometimes, and almost fanficy. It really takes you out of the experience. But the main reason that this game is on the list is the glitches. Holy crap, this game has a lot of them. There are just so many exploits and bugs and things that just don't work in this game. Sometimes tools will just skyrocket in level. Or sometimes your wife will get stuck in bed and they can't leave the house. Also, if you're wondering why all the footage is from the beginning of the game, it's because the game keeps corrupting my data if I try to save in slot 2. No joke, the game actually once managed to glitch my dog out of existence. I was carrying it around, showing it to people, you know, trying to boost relationships, and then I accidentally moved to another screen and triggered an event. By the time the event was over, my dog was gone. He never showed up again. I looked all over for him, and I even had to reload to try to make him come back. Never showed up. Had to restart the entire game all over again if I wanted my dog back. So yeah, if even though Harvest Moon DS may actually have done a lot of things right, it's just kind of a technical mess. And honestly, it kind of feels a bit phoned in compared to previous games. Honestly, I would probably just skip this and go play either of the GBA ones. Although it does let you pet your animals, which I kind of liked. Number 3. Harvest Moon Island of Happiness. Gonna be honest, when I first planned out this list, this was gonna be number 1. But once you get past the terrible controls, well the game still has flaws, but it could have been a lot worse. Island of Happiness tried a whole lot of new things, and not all of them really worked, like the weather system. Crops now need a specific amount of sun and water to grow properly, too much of one thing and they'll die. Problem is, you can't really control the weather, and it's entirely possible to lose a huge amount of crops, 
because it's been sunny for too long, and they all died. Later on, you can build a greenhouse and it pretty much fixes that, but still, early on, that's a big problem. Also, at the beginning of the game, you really don't have a lot of energy. You can't really get a whole lot of things done without passing out, and food is kind of hard to get. Also, weeds grow at a stupidly high rate. And of course, we can't talk about Island of Happiness without talking about the controls. Island of Happiness is controlled almost completely by the touchscreen, with face buttons being used for hotkeys. The main problem I have with it though is, it's really imprecise. It's really easy to overshoot things and it just adds extra time to do everything. Also, since you pretty much have to confirm almost every action, things really do slow down quite a bit. For example, in order to eat something, you first need to stop and pick it up, open your menu, open your backpack, select the item, equip it to an equip slot, exit the menu, equip the item, and then finally eat it. It just adds a whole lot of extra process to something that took like two button presses in the other Harvest Moon games. Overall, Harvest Moon Island of Happiness is still probably one of my least favorite games, but in hindsight, there have been a lot worse. Still, I would just skip this one and just play Sunshine Islands. Number 2 Harvest Moon The Lost Valley The Lost Valley was Natsume's first attempt at making their own Harvest Moon game, and it didn't really work. Like at all. The game itself centers around questing to unlock the different seasons. You start in winter, and then you unlock the other seasons during the plot. Problem is, the pacing itself is kind of bad, so that by the time you unlock a new season, it's time to change seasons, and then it's back to winter. The constant snow and white kind of makes the environment seem really drab, and really kills the pacing it feels like. One of the new features they touted was the ability to customize the land, which sounds pretty cool. In practice though, it's pretty much just moving soil square by square to level things off so you can plant on them. Also, the jumping mechanics kind of aren't very good. It's really difficult sometimes to jump over a simple gap, or in between squares. And it's also really easy to get stuck in areas, so you have to warp back home for the day. Also, it doesn't really help that the camera itself loves to spin around all over the place. Sometimes it makes me a bit dizzy. The characters themselves are okay, but without an actual town to basically live in, they just kind of wander around the valley at certain times of the day. Relationships have also been simplified, as now requests are the only way to actually make people like you more. Gifting has pretty much been removed completely, which I'm personally not a big fan of. There are other flaws in the game, but if I went into all of them, we would probably be here all day. So even though technically there are worse games in the series, this one was definitely the most disappointing to me. Honestly, I would probably just skip this one and just get Story of Seasons when it comes out. And my number one worst Harvest Moon game is... Puzzle D Harvest Moon for the Nintendo DS. This technically isn't a normal Harvest Moon game, being a puzzle game and all, so we can't really compare it to the others, but frankly it just doesn't work as either a Harvest Moon game or a puzzle game. The point of this game is to plant crops and harvest them for points. Easy. It's designed to have you like strategically use items and power-ups to get the highest yield of crops and points. The problem is, the game moves at such a breakneck speed and you get items in such a random order, it's entirely possible for you to be completely screwed because the game refuses to give you any seeds. Also, there are power-ups, and they're kind of broken. You actually manage to get the right items to get a bunch of crops? Well, too bad, because now nobody but one person can harvest them. The worst part though is, all of these things I've been talking about, they're pretty much pointless in the grand scheme of things, since you get points for harvesting crops, even if you didn't plant them. It's entirely possible to win just by letting the other players do all the work and then just scribbling all over their plans for points. The gameplay pretty much devolves to randomly capping and scribbling all over the place as the best strategy to win. Also, it has absolutely no lasting power. The single match you've been seeing, that's pretty much the entire game. 
there's no story mode, the multiplayer just doesn't work half the time, and you can pretty much do everything this game has to offer in like 10 minutes. Even though it's not a traditional Harvest Moon game, it's still definitely the worst game to carry the name Harvest Moon. So, that's my list. What are some of your least favorite Harvest Moon games? Let me know in the comments below. So, until next time.